The 2018 Sprott Natural Resources Symposium is wrapping up. I'm joined by Miles Thompson and he's the president as well as CEO of Lara Exploration. Great to have you here today. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, first and foremost, I do want to get an overview of your company as well as business model. I understand you're a prospect generator and you have properties in South America. So could you enlighten the audience? Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're, we follow the prospect generator model as uh, espoused by Rick Rule of Sprott, obviously, uh, who is our original backer. Um, we try and do mineral exploration, looking for, looking for that rich deposit that a uh, major will take out while preserving our shareholders by not diluting the company. So we dilute at the project level to get money in to do the drilling. And I do understand you recently had positive results out from uh, your property in Peru. So can you tell me about the strategy for that? Um, yeah, that was actually a very pleasant surprise. Uh, we were looking, f we picked up that property to look for a copper porphyry at depth. And when we went to do the surface sampling, we were very pleasant surprised that we had lots of uh, lead, zinc and silver there. Um, we've been approached by a few people already. I would expect we'll joint venture that within the next few months. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to your management team and technical expertise, as well as your involvement, can you tell us a little bit about uh, how much technical expertise you have and what your team brings? Yeah, um, for this kind of business, the, the team is fundamental, not only in technical expertise and experience, but also in local edge. So if you're going to be working as we do in Brazil and Peru, you need to be a little bit better than everybody else or uh, why, should, why should investors give you money? Um, I have worked over 30 years in South America. Um, you know, I lived for about 15 years in Brazil, lived in Bolivia, I've lived in Chile, worked pretty much everywhere. Mike has been down there for 30, 40 years. My co-founder, Edu, uh, is Brazilian, has been there working for 40 years for various major companies. And we've all had exploration success as well. Now, obviously, I was uh, founder of Reservoir Minerals that was bought up by Nev Sun in 2016. Uh, we've made various discoveries over the years in Brazil. Mike had a long track record as the VP of Discovery in Africa before he joined us. So we, we have the technical expertise, we have local expertise, and we're all mind finders as well. And of course, uh, potential investors might be curious about uh, some of the sustainability efforts as well as how you deal with potential political um, issues in the area. So what does your team bring? Um, I, again, I think, you know, my earlier comment on local knowledge, um, I think to go into countries like Brazil and Peru and they're very different places and different parts of those countries are very different as well. Uh, we're all fluent in Spanish, Portuguese. Um, we're very well embedded there in terms of you know, having the local relationships. You know, Mike, the VP in Brazil, has got this amazing network of prospectors that bring him ideas. Um, we're familiar with the legal system, with the political system. Doesn't necessarily work in our favor, but we know um, we know what we can and we can't do, and we know how to wear out the problems. Um, you know, we've, we're doing, just as an example, we're doing more prospecting in Peru at the moment because it's easier to acquire ground than in Brazil. In Brazil, we've done mostly acquisitions from small local groups. Um, so you, you just have to work within those realities. Um, I think political risk is something uh, you have everywhere you go. I mean, I think it's as complex to work in BC, perhaps as some of the things we do in Brazil. Um, you need to understand um, how things work in the place you are and work out what you can and can't do. Mm -hmm. And Miles, last but not least, we are at the Sprott Natural Resources Symposium and it's been a difficult environment for the precious metal space. But how would you say the company is positioned uh, for when we see a commodity bull market? Uh, yeah, I mean, my experience, and this is probably my, I'm embarrassed to say it's my fourth cycle. Um, it's always difficult. I mean, you know, what most people consider a real bull market when generalist investors come into our sector, realistically, is probably two out of every 10 years. So this kind of market is normal course. 
Um, I find it hard to sustain the business financially, but at the same time, it's these markets that give you the opportunity to acquire and build projects. So in terms of the market, we're accustomed to this. That's what we do. Um, I think probably one of the things I'm most proud of is that in the 12 years we've been running Lara, we still only have 35 million shares outstanding. And we now have three copper discoveries in Peru. We have the new, new zinc discovery in Peru, plus two or three other gold and copper projects. Um, when money does come back to this sector, which it inevitably, inevitably does, uh, we're going to be worth an awful lot more. Mm -hmm. Okay, Miles, well, thank you so much for joining me here, and thanks thank for you. all your insight. Pleasure, thank you very much. Thank you.